Let's see some data compression in the editor. In this program, we will be implementing the run length compression algorithm. Just like we saw in this slides, what this does is it takes a single character and the number of times it repeats. So what becomes W4, H1, A6, T1, question mark one. This algorithm works on the character level and what it does is it looks for patterns in the character and, and records them. Other algorithms that we might see would do the same idea, but on a bit level, and it looks for the patterns at that point. But since we're going to be looking at the character level, let's take a look at how we can do that. So what our program is essentially doing is it's asking the user for an input text, compressing that and printing out the results, then decompressing and printing out the results, and then checking to see if our original text matches our decompressed text. So see if, it, if we did everything correctly. What we're going to do is we're going to implement the to compression and the decompression functions. Okay, so let's take a look at this compression function. So we're going to need to track a few things in this function. Uh, first of all, we're going to need to track our results. So our results are going to start off blank. Um, and we're going to return those results at the end. So we're going to say results right there. We're also going to track our current run character. So we're going to call this current run character. And that's also going to start blank. And finally, we need to track our run length. So what are we currently running at? And we'll start it off with a zero value. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially loop through each character. And as we go through that, we're going to do a few things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check and say if this is the first character, start our run. So for our very first loop through, we need to kind of check that out. Okay. After that, you know, otherwise, we're assuming that it's not the first character. We have a run that we need to check. So check current character to see if we continue the run. Okay. If we continue run, add to the run length. Otherwise, add to our results and reset the new run. All right, so let's take a look at how we do this. So if it's the first character, so we need to put a conditional statement in here. Okay, and actually we need to create our loop first. So we're gonna say uh, for i in range, and we do need to have a number here, so we're gonna actually loop, instead of looping through each letter, we're gonna loop through a number, the number of our original letters. So the length of original. Okay, and then in here, we can then say, if i is equal to zero, we know we're on our first run. So we're gonna say current run character is equal to our original i. Okay, now we know that this is gonna be our first character, so we know our current run is gonna equal, oops, run length is gonna equal one. Okay, now if we're not on our first loop through, then we can use an else condition here, and we know that we're going to be looking to see, you know, does our current character match what we have? So we're going to create this um, current character value, which is our original i. Okay, and then we're going to check that. So we're going to use a conditional here to say if current character equals current run character, then we want to essentially add to our length. So we're just going to say run length plus equals one. Okay, now otherwise, if we haven't done, or if it we're not equal, then we need to essentially reset our value after we add into our results. So let's move this down. Um, so what that's going to look like, we're going to say results 
plus equals, we need to add our current character, so that's going to be our current run character, plus whatever our current length is. We're going to change that to a string and say run length. So we're going to add those two pieces in, and now what we need to do is reset our values. Um, so we're going, to, we're going to say our current run character is now equal to our current character, and our current our run length is now going to equal one. And again, it equals one because this represents the first character that we have. It's not going to necessarily reset back to zero. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. Oh, we forgot our double equals here. So if I say, what? Oh, looks like I have a typo here. Try that again. Okay, so now we see our compression, but you notice we didn't have the last character there. That's because we didn't finish off the run correctly. At the end, we have one character that didn't finish out, and so what we have to do is we have to include that last character in our results here before we return it. So what that's going to look like is essentially adding this piece here into our results at the end to capture that last piece. So now if we try it, we should see that last piece there, the three exclamation points. Okay, so now our compression's working. We need to work on our decompression. So similar to our compression, we need to track our results. It's gonna start off blank and we're gonna return that result at the end. Okay, now what we're gonna essentially do is loop through all of our characters in our compressed text. But we're going to do this a little bit differently since we know that every other letter is a letter and a number. We can take this and loop through in two steps. So I'm going to say for i in range 0 to the length of compressed text. But again, I'm going to do this in two step increments. Okay, so I need to now get get the run character, get the run length, and then add that to our results. Okay, so getting the run character is simply going to take that spot, that first value. So I'm going to say character equals compressed text at i. Now my run length is going to then be the compressed text at i plus 1. So it's going to be the character after that i. Okay. And now to add it to the results, I need to do a small loop here. So I'm just going to say for j in range run length. And I can say results plus equals character. Okay. And that should do it. So let's try it out here. So I'm going to take this example right here. Oh, I forgot to convert my compress text to an int. So let's do that there. Oh, and one more mistake. Forgot the S on my results. And look at that. Our compression is the same. We right here said to check to see if they're the same, and if it does, it prints success. So that is a run length compression algorithm. Now it's your turn to give it a shot.